Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This week on Test Drive, we look at the 1995 Hyundai Accent. Now, this vehicle will replace the Excel in their model lineup. Not so long ago, we showed you a concept car upon which this vehicle is based. The Accent is a totally new model with no major component carryovers whatsoever. Start with the engine. It's an upgraded version of Hyundai's tough little 12-valve 1.5-litre Alpha engine. Power is rated at 92 horsepower and 97 pounds-feet of torque. While these figures are on the low side by today's standards, they represent an increase over the previous engine. The big plus is the 5% improvement in fuel economy. The stick shift version of the Accent runs through the 100k mark in just under 12 seconds. Again, not outstanding numbers, but still more than adequate when compared to the likes of the Ford Aspire. The manual transmission is perhaps the weakest part of this otherwise neat package. The problem is twofold. First, the short gearing, while giving peppy performance around town and keeping the engine in the power band, it means the Accent runs at almost three grand on the highway, which leads to a fair amount of engine noise. Secondly, the shifter linkage is somewhat vague and notchy to the feel, and the throws are on the long side. That said, spend a little time with the car and you get used to the feel, and the fact that the hydraulic clutch is very user-friendly helps things immensely. You know, when Hyundai brought the Pony to North America, it was antiquated technology, even by 1984 standards. Just look at the carburetor, the points, and the condenser. Well, this new accent is anything but. Under the hood, you'll find distributorless ignition, fuel injection, ABS, and dual airbags. Now that is leading edge technology, even by 1995 standards. The suspension design is equally new. Up front are McPherson struts and a roll bar, while the rear gets a multi-link setup that also features a roll bar. To improve performance further, the front springs are offset. This reduces friction and improves the life expectancy of the strut. Now factor in the increased caster angle and anti-dive geometry, and you have a system that is surprisingly agile without being in the least little bit uncomfortable. Indeed, the ride comfort, considering this is an entry-level car, is rather good. During the pylon test, the Accent tracked a true line with little body roll and only mild understeer at the limit. All in all, a well-designed package. The brakes are ventilated discs up front and drums in the rear. Our tester also featured the optional anti-lock system. During the brake test, the system functioned to perfection, with stops being measured at 111 feet from 80k. The pedal feel, as with every other Hyundai tested to date, is excellent and easily modulated. Hyundai get additional marks for the ABS performance. First, it's a four-channel system, and secondly, unlike some other systems, this one allows the driver a little bit of latitude before intervening. For a small car, this Accent has a lot of rear seat room. I've got the driver's seat where I would normally have it. There's plenty of knee room here, there's plenty of room under the seat for your feet, and surprisingly, there's a lot of headroom given the car's overall dimensions. The interior is another area that has been improved immensely. The ergonomics are much better than expected, with the designers getting extra marks for putting the radio above the climate controls. The dash is logical and analog, and the rounded binnacle matches the curve of the steering wheel to perfection, meaning that all the gauges remain in plain view. The seats, while on the firm side, are comfortable, and the large back bolsters keep the driver put when you begin to play. Helping matters here is the well-positioned dead pedal. Just to the left side of the driver's seat are the remote fuel and trunk releases. The trunk itself is spacious thanks to the squared-off design, and the liftover is low. The only other comment is on the level of fit and finish. Quite simply, it rates right up there with the likes of Toyota or Mazda. Well, that's it for this week's test drive. This Accent comes loaded with leading edge technology in a truly affordable package. But the truly nice part? This is just plain and simply one fun car to drive.